rotation activation part two. This time we're gonna talk about the feet. So we're gonna connect from our feet up through our hips. So if you have um, knee sensitivity, especially in lunging, this is gonna help stabilize the knees. It also helps stabilize your hips. So when we did the hands, we did the rotation with the fingers out. It's kind of the same concept, but with the feet. So we're gonna start out in our Tadasana with our feet pointed forward, and I'm standing nice and tall. And I wanna make sure that I have a little bounce to my knees. We don't wanna lock our knees. It's not healthy for our knees, not healthy for our low back. So once I'm in my Tadasana, I'm nice and lined up, then I'm gonna activate the rotation activation. So you're gonna think about rooting into the knuckles of your big toes, which is this part right here. The rest of the foot is on the ground, I'm just kind of pushing in there. And then I'm gonna act like my feet are stuck in mud again, and I'm trying to engage them like they're dialing out, but they're not actually moving. So turn it on and turn it off. You don't see as much movement because unlike the elbows, they're not pointed back, but hopefully you feel this. And then once that's turned on, again, any time that I'm standing, in a pose, whether my feet are together, whether my feet are wide, whether my feet are staggered, whether I'm in a lunge, especially when I'm in a lunge, we want that rotation activation turned on. And I'm gonna show you warrior two facing this way. So if I'm in my warrior two pose, right? If you can see my knee, this is with my activation not turned on and the knee kind of falls in. Now when I turn on that rotation activation, my knee comes into alignment and this stabilizes the knee. I'm feeling it in my tush, I'm feeling it in my foot, I'm feeling that activation or that engagement of muscles, but now my knee feels stable. So if I go to lunge and straighten the leg, my leg is, now my knee is stable. So it's not wobbling, which we tend to do sometimes when that's not stable. So again, it's rooting in and then dialing like the toes are dialing out. So adding that rotation activation. Same concept as with the hands, it's that torque force. But in here, we're really thinking about uh, the connective tissue, particularly the fascia, kind of like hugging from the foot all the way up through the hip. So try it, let me know.